there's a whole universe of, of life force out there and yoga is especially oriented towards uh, life force information. So consciousness supports information and wisdom. How do we uh, reach our infinite potential, supernature? Through meditation, by not being limited by thoughts, knowing that the thinking mind or the brain, that's definitely part of our intelligence. But we also have emotional intelligence and we also have spiritual intelligence. Yoga says yoga as union, oneness or harmony with all, the bigger picture, but making sense of the, of the parts allows us to be more than the sum of the parts. And, and that is really our super nature and, and super consciousness. In our super nature state, we have an expanded consciousness which isn't contracted. So that's the opposite of fear and limited thinking or sweating the small stuff. We can also from that place then have focus and using the, the two abilities, literally to be able to look in the distance and see where we're going um, and also uh, being able to go inside and feel which steps to take so that each uh, step takes us exactly where we need to be. When we're fully in the power of now, in this present moment, we can clearly see where we need to go or where we are already. And where we are in the moment of meditation and expansion and focus is inclusive. It includes everything. As we develop yoga, we realize who we are. We self-realize. We're more in the moment. And that's where our real potential lies. Uh, tap into this universal truth consciousness of meditation and our super nature. That is a connection of body, mind and spirit as representative, in fact, of everything that is. So this is the true message of yoga as union. Our strength, our real super nature lies in union. Our strength is, as people lies in community, growing into our supernature, and that's the growth point of consciousness, personal development, and development of the planet in terms of holistic yoga.